In this video, I'll be doing a review of Lubuntu 1304 Final Release. Now I have to say, I am surprised this is the first of the 1304 Raring Ringtail series of distros that has not been crashing on me. Perhaps these Sky Spirits have been appeased at last, or maybe the King has actually sacrificed Mort this time. Yeah, you got to watch Penguins of Madagascar to have understood what I said there. Right, let's fire it up in VirtualBox. Now I don't mind showing off the boot time for this distro, because it is actually pretty quick. I think I've clocked it in at around 8 seconds. Oh yes, looking good. The first thing you'll notice is the styling has been improved. Got new icon set in the task menu. And some new icons for the folders. It is a bit strange though with the wallpapers. Yes, this one is very nice. But it's got four copies of it in the wallpaper folder. So we can have this one, which is ooh, the same but with particles on. We can have this one, or this one. Oh wait, yeah, they're all the same. But a quick scroll through sees that there are at least a couple of different ones. You've got two photos, another abstract type one, and a happy new year. Lubuntu fits in the Ubuntu range, being the lightest of the distros. With the LXD desktop manager, which is probably nearer to being styled on Windows 2000, it is very lightweight, meaning you can use it on older machines. And being lightweight, it is very quick and responsive. Once again, there hasn't been many changes in Lubuntu. We've got the support time reduced from 18 months to 9 months. Other than that, we've got the updates in the pre-installed applications. And there's been quite a few changes in PCMan FM, the file manager. The other improvement has been with the UEFI Secure Boot BIOS support. If you have a system with Windows 8, you should be able to install Lubuntu 1304 or any of the other Ubuntu 1304 releases. In the file manager, PCMan FM, it still seems to be pretty fast when you're just moving files or opening files across the local hard drive. I'm still finding issues with it on SMB, though, on Samba file shares, in that with the right hand click menu, you don't get the option to copy files. Well, yes, you can drag them across, but it's very slow. There is one new feature that they mention on the website, and that's this new file searcher. The file searcher is very picky on where you would need the asterisks. Just simply putting in a search for Simpsons in a folder that's full of videos called The Simpsons doesn't pick anything up. Yeah, well, I would need to put an asterisk at the beginning to make it search anything there. Okay, taking a look through the applications that we've got here in Lubuntu. So under accessories, yeah, nothing that special under there. And the games, oh, we've still got all the lightweight penguin games. Yes, yeah, very nice. There's lots on here, and if you try and remove them, it, try, it removes the Lubuntu desktop meta package. Not always advisable to do that. Under graphics, we've got Document Viewer, Empty Paint, Graphic Editor, and Simple Scan. Empty Paint is a slightly more advanced version of Paint. Under Internet, we have Chromium for the web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Silfeed email reader and transmission for the BitTorrent client. Under Office, we've just got the lightweight versions of Office. We've got Abbey Word and GNumeric. Sound of Video got Audacious, GNOME Mplayer, GVC View, and XF Burn for writing CDs. Under System Tools, nothing really that special under there, but I will just open up the Lubuntu Software Center. It's a lightweight version of the Ubuntu Software Center. And yeah, it's a bit faster to search around. But I've noticed in Canonical have been improving the opening time of the Ubuntu Software Center, and really that's just the issue with it. Once it's up and running, it's perfectly fine. And there's just a few things under preferences. So that's about all we've got with Lubuntu 1304. Well, here's what I thought of Lubuntu 1304. So easy to use. Yep, well, it's basic, but it's simple enough to use. Ease of installation, yep, easy enough to dual boot and to be able to install with Windows or another Linux distro. Uh, Starling, yeah, I reckon it's much improved on before and I reckon it's reasonably good. So boot up speed, it's pretty quick, I've got it timed at around 8 seconds. So responsiveness, oh yes, it's very fast in opening up programs. So number of bugs, oh, minor issue here. PC Man FM still has issues with Samba shares. And I had to look back on the previous video I did, and I noticed the same thing back with, I think it was 12.10, that it had issues with Samba shares then. So selection of pre-installed applications. 
too many of those Penguin games and you can't uninstall them because it removes the Lubuntu desktop meta package. It's not always the best thing to remove that one. The number of applications available, um, saying the same thing for all the Ubuntu distros, there's still quite a few applications that are only available through repositories. And yeah, we've got both 32 and 64 bit versions. So, the good points it works with UFI secure boot passes much better than previous releases. So, if you've got a Windows 8 system, you'll be able to dual boot and install Lubuntu on it easy enough. And it will work, he says. <laughs> but bad points that support time has been reduced from 18 months to 9 months because there was no LTS release of Lubuntu, so they only had 18 month support from 1204. So overall, I have given this distro 87%, so that's taken the top place for this year so far. So thanks for watching, see you later.